Competing in a marathon is challenging as it's supposed to be, but the weather really put a damper on the day. Another trip to another race, this time Boston. Megan's run the Boston Marathon before in 2018, but that year more than 1,200 runners didn't finish. The race saw some of the worst weather in the event's history. She vowed to come back and have a good Boston. She trained up, re-qualified, but two months before the 2019 race, she broke her foot. Hoping third time to the charm, this year she was back. Good Boston. Good Boston. Unfinished business. Along with good temperatures, she also had teammates. More than 40 Halifax road hammers wearing team clothing arrived in Boston. Some even saw the same customs officials at the border. The guy was like, oh, what is, I, I know that, I, I met your friends this morning. <laughs> Friends like Rami, here to run the streets of Boston for his 20th year. Or Christy, who's already run all six world marathon majors. Boston, Chicago, New York, London, Berlin, Tokyo. Or Katie, finding her name on the participant wall for the very first time. Does it feel real with your name on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> The day before the race, the team went on their shakeout run, prepping the feet, the fun, and the food. <laughs> Megan planned to run the race with Kaylee and Mora. Then bedtime, a few hours sleep before the next morning's race. At 4.30, I woke up refreshed and energized. And I made myself a delicious breakfast. As the sun rose, the team started meeting up. They headed to the first security checkpoint, but not before a final send-off from fellow teammate and runner, Mark. Have fun. Oh, what a nice place. so cute. I got to run for the Then it was through the checkpoint and onto buses that would take them to the start line 42.2 kilometers away. And for a very brief moment, Mark and I wondered how we'd possibly fill the next couple hours. <laughs> so... What happened? She's, She's going to call you on the phone that I'm going to have. Yes. So we met Jan, right? And, and he needs to get... Jan and Ron. Jan, Jan and Ron. Ron, Ron, Ron and Lisa and Jan. And Jan. 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 Lisa and Lisa. And what's our assignment? Your yeah. assignment. My assignment is to get <laughs> Jan. Uh, oh, he's a dietitian. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to give it to this guy, Mark. He's going to carry my cell phone. Till the finish line. Is this a scam? Somehow. Yeah, it could be an elaborate scam. Yeah. You didn't think of that first? Someone no, says, no. Uh, someone says, well, he, he I opened, need. You <laughs> opened with, you look like a trustworthy guy. I'm like, yeah. That's how scams start. Hi, is this Elisa? Is the plan now to just give this to Ron's? You need to get rid of the phone as soon as possible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, fish Thank you, Mark. Thank you. You like right. Have fun. <laughs> 
You're good for a month now. God gave you like you're good for a month. Good karma. Right on. We'll get this for you though. Where are we going, by the way? Just walking. Just walking. Just walking. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. The phone guy. Um, so, uh, do you want us to meet you somewhere? Oh, okay, that's uh, like a kilometer away. We'll be the two handsome gentlemen. <laughs> one in red, one in blue. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. She didn't think that was funny. That was. That was no, yeah, that was I thought that good was. Good a, line. Keep in mind, while we were working to deliver Jan's phone to Ron's girlfriend, the runners were still on buses heading to Hopkinton. I hope she's at least excited. Yeah. Or possibly really annoyed. We never pretty much forced her to just like sit tight for like an hour. <laughs> There's nobody in the coffee shop. Right here. This was all a scam. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that could be her. Are you Lisa? Hello. Thanks so much. Have a good day. <laughs> See you. She wasn't annoyed. She was happy. No, no, she, she was, was great. Yeah, no, she was very pleasant. Yeah. Hi, Mark. This is Elisa, the phone recipient from the marathon. Talking about you in the car ride home. How Ron, as such a good judge of character, he can trust you guys. Also, big congrats to your wife. You're great. Uh, very impressive. The end. <laughs> Phone delivered, next we caught a train. Our destination, the mile eight marker on the course. We made it here on time. On time. It's not raining. It's not raining. And uh, we might be getting sunburned. We're completely burnt already. <laughs> Among the tens of thousands of runners, we spotted Megan, Mora, and Kaylee, matching shorts and all, strong and pushing hard. After a tough 2018 and a broken foot in 2019, Megan came back to Boston on a mission. This year, she finished the race 30 minutes quicker than last time and got her good Boston. Oh, how's it going? Hi. Give you a banana high five. <laughs> Mora and Kaylee were close behind. I was so proud of you. Oh, good girl. <laughs> With Kaylee getting a bit of help from race volunteers after crossing the line. Oh, I'm hurt really bad. I don't even know if I'm going to And a bit of help from her family after that. One last thing left to do in Boston, visit Fenway Park. And watch the Red Sox take on the visiting Toronto Blue Jays. I'm running.